So in question number 1.29, we have a hollow charge conductor has a tiny hole cut into its surface. Show that electric field in the hole is sigma by 2 epsilon naught n cap, where n cap is the unit vector in outward normal direction and sigma is the surface charge density near the hole. Okay. So now suppose this is the conductor, hollow conductor. Okay. And let us say this conductor is complete conductor without any hole. Okay. And this red part is the part where I am going to make a hole. Okay. Now initially it is a complete conductor. So the charges are on the surface. It is a hollow conductor. So obviously charges are on the surface and sigma is the surface charge density. Surface charge density. Okay. Now in the interior region, we know that for a hollow conductor, electric field intensity is zero. So near this region, the region where I'm going to make a hole, but now at present it is not a hole. So for the charges on this red part, the electric field intensity at this point, it will be in this direction. Okay. And uh, for the rest part, for this black part, the electric field intensity will be in the opposite direction. Okay. Now obviously, since the electric field intensity inside the conductor is zero, so these two fields must have same magnitude. Okay. Then only the resultant field will be zero. Okay. Now, in the outer region, okay, in this region, outside the conductor, now here, the electric field for this red part, it will be in the outward direction. And for the rest, this black part, it will also be in the outward direction. Okay. Now, see, here, uh, the outer region, we know that the resultant electric field E, it is equal to sigma by epsilon naught. Okay. Now, this resultant, it is a sum of E and the C. Okay. And it is 0. And in the interior region, and this resultant is uh, sigma by epsilon naught. Now, in the interior region, the electric field is 0. Now, if the electric field is 0, that means this both these fields must have same magnitude. Okay, same magnitude. So, in the outer region, the field must be, this must have magnitude sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And this must have magnitude sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Then only if you add these two values, you will get this sigma by epsilon naught. And in the interior region, since the two fields are in opposite direction, the resultant field here in the result in the interior region, it will be zero. This is the resultant field. Okay. So it implies at this point, the electric field due to this segment, this red part, it has a magnitude of sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And for the rest part, the black part, it is also sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Okay. Now, if we make a hole at this point, okay, in this part, if we make a hole, that means the electric field near this hole will be due to the rest of the hollow, hollow conductor. So, it means the electric field in the outer region, it will have a magnitude E equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And what about the direction? The direction will be in the outward direction. So, this is how you have to proceed.